everybody what's good it's your man willie green here in brooklyn here at the greenhouse and today we're taking a look at the brand new lindell 902 deesser from plugin alliance you know there's a lot of audio tools in the world there's a lot of things with surgical precision where you can manipulate and destroy and modulate things so what's so special about a deesser well sometimes you kind of need something to be simple and quick and just sound right. Just a couple knobs, get the job done, and then you can focus on some of the more creative things with these other tools. Well, that's what we're doing here with the 902. So let's crack it open and see what it's all about. So here we are with the GUI, pretty straightforward, some buttons, few knobs, nothing too crazy. The first two knobs here, frequency and range, are kind of your main controls you'll be using. The frequency, um, this is your target frequency where you're gonna be doing your DSing, and then range is how much. So pretty straightforward. You set your frequency where you wanna reduce, and you set how much, and you're DSing. It's pretty much that simple. Uh, there's no threshold on this DSer. It's just dependent on the input level, but there's a little bit more to it. There's your bypass, that's pretty straightforward. High frequency mode. So high frequency mode, when engaged, it'll just reduce the high frequencies. When it's not engaged, it'll duck the entire signal. You know, if you were doing something, maybe DSing some hi-hats that were a little too sharp for you, uh, you may want to duck the entire signal. But if you're using a, on, a, on a vocal, which is the most common use for a DSer, you might just want to duck the high frequency. Um, so that button's going to give you that option. Here in the center, we have our listen section, which is what the plugin is going to be outputting. So the output is the result of your DS signal. So whatever the plugin is doing, that is what you're going to hear. Detector lets you hear the circuit of what is triggering the DSer. So you can fine tune your frequency uh, to find the exact spot that you need to reduce. And then DS here is going to play for you what is actually being removed from your signal. So if you need to hear that to properly identify your sibilance, you switch in the DS button. Below that, we have a mix knob, very common nowadays. It'll let you blend in some of the dry signal if you need to do that, or 100% wet, and that's your straight up DS, uh, DS signal. And then we got the special sauce down here. Lindell gave us the special sauce down here at the bottom. This is an air band. This is a gentle high shelf that allows you to bring back some of that sparkle, some of that brightness on top that may have gotten reduced by DSing. So you can control your sibilance, you can control that brightness and then open that track back up. Uh, so that is a great addition here. And then on the right, we have the spectrograph, which is just gonna show us, you know, our level, the level of the signal. It'll show us in yellow of where the problem areas are with the sibilance. And then the red is gonna show us our reduction. So let's play something. Let's listen to something and see all this stuff in action. This here is a record from my good friend, my artist Fielded. This is a song called Goodness Gracious. And just in the title of the song alone, Goodness Gracious, you know we're going to have plenty of sibilance to control. So uh, let's play this little pre-chorus here and see what this is about. And then we'll switch in the de -esser. Right, lovely vocal performance, but yeah, those S's, whoo, the S's are cutting. So let's cut them back. Let's take this out of bypass. And so frequency, we're up at about 5.6K, 5.7. Um, and our range is within this normal range. We've got up to 20 dB of reduction. Um, 
the normal range is set here. And through my use of it so far, everything has been around that normal range. That is really kind of the prime, the prime, uh, prime range. So let's hear this. Goodness gracious. Life got me on one. Feels like I'm running with some scissors. Sometimes this is not fun. They say that living life's so privileged. But ah. So already it's just such a big difference. It's very neutral. You're not hearing the de-esser. You're not hearing a, a sound of like a colored plugin. Um, like if this was a different EQ or something. Uh, it's just, it's doing what it's supposed to do, which is what we want from the 902. But let's really break down what that is. So plenty of sibilance here in the, in the, in the pre-chorus. And let's watch the meter. When you see that yellow uh, pop up on the left side, that's the detector recognizing some sibilance and it comes up a bit. And then I'm going to adjust the range. And on the right side, you'll see that red moving more or less. That's the amount that we're reducing. As we increase the range, we increase the amount of DSing. But let's say you produced a song for Fielded and there is a very bright crash symbol in there that hits right at the top of the chorus. Well, we might need to do something about that. So let's zoom in, come over to this chorus and find our crash symbol track. Boom. So let's just play into the chorus a little bit so you can hear what's going on with the symbol. So I'm a drummer. I'm a sucker for a big cymbal on the downbeat in the chorus. But sometimes it's a little bit too bright and, you know, there's already enough sibilance going on in this song. So let's enable the uh, 902. So you see all of that high end energy that was not the yellow part of our graph. And then you see we're reducing a bit and then it's tailing off as the signal goes down, as the level of the, of the crash goes away, because this is all threshold dependent. So it comes back down under the threshold and we start to let off. Let's check that one more time. So just enough just to tuck that away and just kind of get that out of the way a little bit. So that's on a symbol. Works great on hi-hats. This song doesn't have a traditional hi-hat, but if you've got hi-hats that are really just cutting, a DS is a great tool for that. This is a simple set it, forget it type of move. So that's sometimes you just need that simplicity. You don't want to spend an hour freaking your hi-hats. You There's more creative things you could do in your mix. So just grab that 902, you'll be in good shape. But let's say we don't have all of these multi-tracks all split out like this. Let's say this is a two track. Let's pretend this is a two track mix. So on my instrumental bus here, my entire instrumental is rolling through there. Um, let's apply the 902 here. Let's find a spot to go to. Let's go to the end here. So now across my whole instrumental, you could put this across a whole mix. Um, I'm just now, I can touch down a little bit of the high end if it starts building too much, if we've got guitar squeaks or that pesky crash cymbal again. Or just overall a bit too much brightness, a bit too much sharpness up there. Uh, you can use a de to roll all that off as well. And 
And when you're dealing with a two track or a whole mix, this is a great opportunity to use that air band that's on there. So as we're, you know, reducing the problem areas, we can still keep our beat or we can still keep our whole mix nice and open and light and clear up top. So that's a few ways that we can use this 902 DSer. A few ways that it's really kind of flex the simplicity, but the power of what it is that it does. Uh, Cause again, sometimes you just need a tool with a couple knobs just to turn them and to get it right. And that's what this Lindell 902 is doing. Um, so I think that does it for us. Sometimes simple in and out is the key. Uh, so my name is Willie Green. And that's what I know. We'll catch you next time with Plug-in Alliance. Peace.